Merry Christmas. Yes! It's been a long time coming. We're here at Backyard Bike Shop and today is New Bike Day. It's a frame set, but hopefully by end of today it'll be a bike. I've actually had the frame for a while, which also, yes, means that going forward, my new bike partner is Scott. Scott Grozier. Scott Grozier? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't strike me as the sort of man who reads instructions usually, Nick. Every day is a school day. <laughs> don't chop the. No, you can't cut that bit. No! I really hope you know what you're doing, Nick. There is a picture of scissors cutting the. Yeah, okay. So this is a Scott Foil 20. Frame set with integrated bar and stem and integrated seat post and saddle from Synchros. Normally Shimano supply me with group sets, but because there has been shortages throughout the whole cycling industry, I've had to order something a little bit different. With the help of Backyard Bike Shop, we have got hold of a rotor hydraulic group set. So hydraulic brakes, but also hydraulic shifting. And also an stupidly light. And an instruction manual. Claimed 1500 grams. Is that like in the drip set? Well, yeah, by my calculations, 400 grams, almost half a kilo. I have to check if that's a full group set. Even the clamps for on the handlebars made out of carbon. The only hard bit is we have to feed a hydraulic hose for your gears through the frame. I might have cut one side off. Do you have any fittings for this? It's quite a lot of stuff in that bag. You can build a second bike out Garmin. of what's in there. The bike's super light, but if you add yeah, all of this stuff in. All seems to be going smoothly so far. It was kind of a two-man job, getting all the cables through the frame. I shouldn't have said cables, actually. They're all hoses. All of them are hoses. So for the rear mech, and there only is a rear mech because it's a one-by system, it's like a thin, much thinner than a normal brake hose that runs all the way through the frame and then out and curves around like a normal cable would, but how much hose do you actually need? Does this need to be a smooth curve? Who knows? Um, could probably go shorter, but I've put extra in just in case that hooks on something, you've got something that can pull out. It looks neat enough. Into the frame. So for people unfamiliar with Scott's range, this foil is the aero bike that they do. It's the same carbon frame that you get through most of their range, even the ones with the different numbers, like foil 20, foil 30, it's the same core frame. This one is a size small, so it fits me pretty much perfectly. Geometry isn't too dissimilar to my old bike, so actually running it completely slammed, I'm in quite a good position. Should have gone for the ceramic speed bottom bracket, mate. 344 quid. Oh, cool. Spins forever. <laughs> is it one piece? Mm. Moment of truth. <laughs> Worth pedals. 7.5 kilos with my Fidlock bottle cages and power pedals on there. Garmin rallies. And not the lightest tire. This foil's an aero bike, so I mean it's light, but it's not. It's not supposed to be light. It's not, yeah, to be. It's yeah, not yeah. a climbing bike. That's not bad, that. You got the first ride. Yeah, obviously. It's mine. You have to catch me first. The gear indexing works the same as a normal bike, so I've just added a bit like. Barrel adjusted anti clockwise, so it's just the upshift's a bit better and downshift's not as quick. How does it do it? Just adjust the pressure of the fluid. <laughs> Magic, who knows? I turned it and it worked, that's all that matters. originally planning to do this bit of the video outside because it's beautiful weather but there's 50 mile an hour winds today so the bike would probably blow away. Here's a rundown of the full build 
of my new Scott foil. So like I said during the build, this is a Scott foil 20 frame set. All of the frame sets in the foil range are actually the same grade of carbon fiber, except for the very top, which is the ultimate. So this frame set is actually identical to the one that Team DSM, the World Tour team, are riding. It's inside small and has integrated bar and stem. This is the 100 millimeter and 42 centimeter wide bar and stem. But when they quote that, they're measuring from outside to outside. So it's actually a 40 centimeter bar measured center to center. It comes with a bunch of different spaces and I've got one centimeter underneath the stem at the moment and then the nice aero cap which covers everything up and makes it look neat. It then comes with an integrated seat post two and a synchros saddle which is the Belcara. It's a short nose saddle with a nice pressure relief channel down the middle. Group set is a Rota 1x12. I originally thought it was called a Rota Uno, but apparently that's the old one and this one is just either the 1x12 or the 1x13. It's a fully hydraulic group set. So brakes are hydraulic, disc, and this is the strange bit, the gears are hydraulic too. It's one by, so there's just one chain ring and no gear adjustment at the front, making it a very light system. I've gone with a 42 tooth chain ring and an 1139 cassette on the back and then it's 12 speed. It's a fully machined one piece cassette and the main thing, looks really cool. This is my first time riding a group set like this and it is pretty unusual so I'll be making a future video on that topic once I've given it a few rides and know how it feels. Initial impressions during the build, we did stumble on a few different hurdles that's why it ended up getting dark towards the end of the video but that was mainly things that we just didn't have ready like the bleed kits and a little bit with the internal routing and making sure it was all neat so it was actually a fairly smooth process in the end. The gears actually indexed straight away without having to bleed the system at all. All Nick did was connect it up and there was already enough pressure for it to be working. We'll see how it goes in the next couple of weeks, whether it needs a tune up, uh, but I'll definitely update these videos and let you know what the situation is. The disc rotors and brake calipers are actually in collaboration with Magura, so they're a very experienced brake manufacturer and hopefully will produce some good stopping power. Just visually, you can see how much weight saving has gone into the rotors. There's not that much material and a lot of it's been machined out. They're 160 front and rear and I'm interested to see how they perform. Those disc rotors are mounted to my existing parkour Ronda wheels, which are marketed as an all road wheel set. Really wide, designed and aero tested by my friend Dov and perfect for the upcoming bikepacking trip in Spain. On the wheels, I have set up Hutchinson Fusion 5 Performance Edition tires. These are set up tubeless and they're 30 millimeters wide, so mega wide on an already quite wide rim, making for a nice, smooth, comfortable experience. Finishing touches, I'm using my Garmin Rally Power Pedals. These are the Shimano SPD version, so they work with my existing Shimano cleats. Fidlock Magnetic Bottle Cages, BBB or Triple B bar tape. Much nicer and much more grippy than the usual cork stuff that you might find on bikes and then eventually I will have a Garmin head unit out front but I haven't got the mount for it yet which I'll hopefully get my hands on in the next couple of days. Built up like this the bike weighs almost exactly seven and a half kilos which is fantastic for an aero build with power pedals on and I'm very excited to give it a ride tomorrow and to be working with Scott going forwards. Oh and I'm sure you'll agree pretty good looking bike as well. Look at the shiny bit in the paint. Thank you as always for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And if you've got any questions about the bike, put them in the comment section down below. See you guys soon.